Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Guys, I want to make this video and I want to be very clear. I'm not being arrogant. I'm not being sadity. I'm not being bougie. I'm being brutally honest with anybody who can think outside of what they see. The reality that has been given to you is false. It is not real. Your, your reality has been fed to you by a system of control and manipulation. Now let me be more specific. When you talk about money, guys, you're dealing with, you're talking about your comprehension. It is a mind state. It's not an actual thing. And what I'm trying to say is that, let me just, let me just be specific. I'm going to just call out some numbers. Guys, that is not a lot of money. It's nothing. $500 is nothing. $1,000 is nothing. $20,000 is nothing. And guys, the reason I'm telling you that is so you won't be afraid of that those numbers. It's just numbers. Making $20 an hour is poverty. It's nothing. You have you have limited yourself and minimized yourself down to a dollar amount. That's all you are worth. You should never in your life ever say $20 an hour is good money. $30 an hour is good money. Never say that. $40 an hour is good money. Never say that. $50 an hour is good money. Never say that. It's garbage, guys. You're being manipulated. You're being, you're, you're, you're being forced to pimp yourself out like a prostitute. I get so upset when I hear people say that because they don't, they don't know their worth. They don't have any value and they don't know their worth. You don't let the John tell you how much you, you're worth. You tell the John. Guys, that's how it works. I hate to use that prostitution as an analogy, but that's one of the only free markets that I can use. Because like when you go into a business, you don't tell the business that you're going to pay 50 cents. For something that costs five dollars. No, the business tell you this is five dollars. There's no negotiating. That car is fifty thousand dollars. This house is so you know, in certain businesses, there is no negotiating. You may be able to negotiate on the car, or whatever. But if you go into a business and that drink, that food is five or ten dollars, there is no negotiating. They're telling you what it's worth. Same thing with a prostitute and a John. The John say $10. The prostitute say $20. Hey, that's it. That's what that's the deal. You want it or, you want it or not or not. I, I charge $20 for my service. The John may be like, nah, that's okay. I, I, I only need $10 worth of service. So he go to another prostitute. That may be less desirable. She may look less attractive. So it, it depends. Certain prostitutes will charge you $1,000 for a night with them. You get what you pay for in that aspect. If you want a little street junkie, the street junkie going to charge you $20. If you want a high-end call girl, she going to charge you $1,000. $2,000. $3,000 for one night with her.
So guys, there are levels to everything. There is no way that that, that call girl is going to give you anything for $20. For twenty dollars, see, guys. So you have to know your worth. You have to. You see. You have to stop speaking poverty into the universe and saying fifty dollars an hour is good money. You speaking poverty into the universe upon yourself. How much are you worth? I'm worth a million dollars. So, oh, that's delusional. It's delusional to, to you. How much are you worth? How much are you worth? Oh, I'm, I'm worth $50. Well, there you go then. That's what you're worth. Now, when I get my million, you stay over there with your 50. See, guys, you have, to, you, have to, you have to have values for yourself. It, it, does, it doesn't matter what you're making. Even if you're making $20 an hour, you have to say, I'm worth more. I'm doing this right now to get from point A to point B. But I know I'm worth more than $20. This is not good money, but I have to do what I have to do for now. But this is not good money. But I'm doing what I have to do for now. But I know I am being cheated. So I'm not satisfied with this. That's how you have to think. $30 an hour is not good money. You got these companies out here paying technicians, professionals, $30 an hour. These folks are building bridges. They're building buildings. These folks are changing the whole infrastructure of a city. And they're paying them $30 or $40 an hour. That is not good money. That is slave money. That's nothing. You a tradesman. You a journeyman. You worth $1,000 an hour. They're supposed, they supposed to be paying you $1,000 an hour at your professional level. But you have lawyers making one, two, three hundred dollars an hour. And they're in the office. And you have these, these tradesmen out here building skyscrapers, making $45 an hour. That's poverty. That's nothing for the amount of labor they do. They're putting their life on the line outside, the elements, in the sun, digging ditches. They're working on the freeway. Making $34 an hour. That's poverty. That's nothing. Guys, raise your value. I don't care if it's just for you and your personal mind and your brain. Be delusional. Be delusional and say, I'm worth a hundred thousand dollars. I'm worth a million dollars. What's wrong with that? As long as you're still providing for yourself, I don't care. It don't matter where you're working at, but know your value, know your worth. If you don't have any value and you don't have any worth, you will be, you will get treated like a, a, a freaking fly, and the pee just swat you away. Just go, 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 ahead, go, move like a mosquito. Just slap you on the arm. Just slap you and kill you. You nothing because you don't have any value. So guys, raise your value. Don't think that five hundred dollars is a lot of money. I heard somebody say that. Oh, oh, that handbag costs five hundred dollars. Do you know how many of those they sell? They sell thousands of them because $500 is not a lot of money. Do you know there, there's a waiting list for certain watches that cost fifty, dollars $100,000? There's a waiting list? There's a waiting list for certain Hermes bags? Those bags cost fifty, dollars $100,000? And there's a waiting list? There's a waiting list for certain Bugattis? They cost two, three, four, five million dollars. There's a waiting list for certain jets and planes. Do you know you have to get on the waiting list? 
the, yes, the, the, there are millionaires that are on waiting lists for items they cannot get for certain Porsches. I don't know what I don't know the name. I think the Porsche is a is it a 911 GT? One of them. They, you, you can't get it. You, you, they put you on the waiting list. Certain um APs watches you can't get them. So guys, all I'm saying is guy is that there are there are you have to have value, guys. There are a lot of people who who, who can't get things that they want because there's so much money out there, and these people are spending so much money out there. So stop thinking that five hundred dollars is a lot of money. It is not. That's like if you have nothing, if you have absolutely nothing, you have zero. Five dollars is a lot of money to a person who has zero because that's how they think. But five five dollars is not a lot of money to you. And you just spent five dollars on a cup of coffee. But to somebody who don't have anything, five dollars may be a whole day's wage. And people in the Philippines, they make five dollars all day. They may make a little more now. I'm exaggerating just a little bit. They may make ten dollars. For a full day's work, the people in the Philippines make $10. But we know that $10 is nothing in the United States. So that's what I'm telling you. A person in the Philippines, they come over here, they'd be like, $10 is a lot of money. There's no way I would spend $10 on a donut and a cup of coffee. In the Philippines. But over here is different. But it's a mindset. It's a mindset. So stop having a poverty mindset, guys. $10,000 is not a lot of money. I'm going to say it again. $20,000 is not a lot of money. $30,000, $40,000, $50,000, $60,000, $70,000, $80,000, $90,000. And I'm and I'm comparing. I'm saying it's not a lot of money in relation to the amount of of money that's in this country. Trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. It's unlimited, almost, guys. It's unlimited. The amount of money that's in this country. You know, you can pick up. It's like it's like, it's like a piece of sand. A million dollars is like a piece of sand on the beach. And, if, and there's only one piece of sand. And you say, wow, this is a rare piece of sand. And you don't, you don't even realize because of your mindset that it's a whole beach of that sand. It's a whole beach of it. Because your mindset, you can't see that there's a beach of sand out there. When you look up in you look up in the sky, you see you see a few stars. You don't realize there are billions of stars. So, in other words, I'm saying don't be limited by what you can see. Explore, explore, and visualize and realize what you what you're not seeing. Like ninety percent of the things that exist in this world, you cannot see. Metaphysically and physically. You can't see. Your eyes, your perspective, your physical eyes can only see a limited amount of information at, at a time. When you're looking, guys, you only see a, a small portion of, of, of reality when you, when you look with your physical eyes. But with your imagination, with your mind, is unlimited. It is unlimited with your imagination and with your mind. But your eyes are limited. You only see in a small percentage. Maybe 5%. Right now with your physical eyes, what you see right now. 
what you're looking at right now. Just just stop for a minute and look at what you see. You can't see behind you. You can't see beside you. You can't see above you. You can't see below you. You can only see that little five percent of reality right there in front of you. That reality is temporary. That reality is 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 objective. Subjective. That reality that you see right in front of you, even that little five percent that you see right in front of you right now is manipulated. Because that could be a facade. You don't really know what you see in front of you. It's just an interpretation that to your brain what you see. But your mind, your third eye, your imagination, it's unlimited. Right now, you can imagine yourself right now in a Ferrari, in a condominium, in a skyscraper, in, in a penthouse, and with a beautiful woman, with a handsome guy, on the golf course, on a yacht, in Miami, in Dubai. Right now, your imagination can take you anywhere in the world right now because it's unlimited. But your visual is limited, very small percentage. So guys, you have, to, you have to remember, do not rob yourself, your imagination of the infinite possibilities that's available to you through the universe. The universe is constantly downloading information. That's how things are built and created and designed. The universe is constantly downloading this information. Everything that's in here now on this earth, the materials to build it has always been here. Just the imagination wasn't always here. The minds wasn't always here. That's why freedom of imagination, freedom of thinking is so important. Not just physical freedom. Imagination is freedom also, guys. So guys, until next time, guys, I just want to put that quick video out there, guys, letting you know, guys, that do not worship money to the point where you're saying, oh, that's a lot of money. Guys, it's nothing. It's man-made. Stop stop being like, stop being a crybaby. In a, in, in a little, you know, that sounds so weak and limiting. It sounds so weak, like you're a poor little poverty little wimp. I mean, come on. Okay, guys, all right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done ranting. That was my little rant for today. All right, guys, until next time, guys. Guys, guys, you gotta, you got, you have to reprogram the way you think. The Matrix got everybody thinking that everybody's poor and broke. It got everybody, it has everybody thinking that you can't get anything, that you, that you, you can't get, I mean, come on. It got people thinking that $20 an hour is good. They got like poor people fighting over $3. $15 an hour is good. $20 an hour. $25. Guys, it's all garbage. It's all poverty garbage. And the Matrix knows it's all poverty garbage. But the majority of people don't know. And that's the way the Matrix want to keep it. That's why they keep the wages light, low and in, 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 in a depressed, stressful state. The Matrix want to keep you stressed out. Want to keep you fighting over $20. Keep you stressed out. That way you can't focus on your imagination. You can't focus on the fact that there's that the, the, the universe is unlimited abundance. Unlimited. Unlimited abundance. Listen to me, people. The universe has unlimited abundance. I mean, you have people with so much money, they don't know what to do with it. The government burns money, like physically burns money in an oven to destroy it. That's how much money is out here. And they keep, they, they, and that's how they control the supply by destroying the currency and burning it. That's how they control the supply of money by destroying it.
and then they can't they, they, they have this artificial like debt clock like we 35 trillion dollars in debt while they sending billions of dollars overseas they don't think about it why can't they use those billions of dollars to pay down the debt if we in debt because it's a lie it's a lie who would vote to send $20 billion overseas when we can put the $20 billion towards the deficit if we if, if, it, if it's real? So guys, you have to wake up. You have to wake up, guys. Okay, guys, it's been 20 minutes. That's it for that one, guys. Guys, keep your house clean. Keep your life clean. Keep your car clean. Clean up your mind, guys. Download and deploy your anti-mind virus software. Debug and unplug from the matrix. Guys, drink plenty of spring water to flush out the poisons, the chemicals, and the toxins that's in the food supply, guys. Get off the pharmaceutical drugs, guys. Your mind has been altered to think like a poor sad slave in poverty with no value stop thinking like that okay guys until next time guys go and conquer yourself peace